Hi there! Today we're going to play Lunacy. Now, we've done a number of different editions of Lunacy so far. This is the original. We also released one called Retro Lunacy. And most recently one called Ugly Doll Lunacy. But today we're going to play one of the new custom editions that we've made. Our new favorite version. <laughs> and in fact, yes, it's our, our new favorite is filled with art from Pyramid Arcade. Now, the object of this game is to get rid of all of your cards first. You'll start with a hand of seven cards, and we'll be discarding them onto up to four discard piles. Now, with two players, we'll have four different piles you can discard onto. But with more players, you'll have fewer piles. And what's exciting about this game is that we do not take turns. So whenever you're ready, we'll just start jumping in and playing. And the object, again, is to get rid of all your cards, which you do by matching cards so that you these play. These two patches match. This is actually the patch for Ice Towers? Mm, no, no. That, no. That is give or take. That's give or take. Yeah. All right. So, But I can play that on there because it matches. Right. Um, and you don't have to turn it around. I mean, you could, you could but it, it could go either way. It's, it's fine. Treehouse. Uh, like hijinks. So this is this is um, black ice, and I can play onto that one and onto that one like that. And again, we're not taking turns. Anytime you have a card that matches, you can jump right in and play it. And that's twin win. I don't. Wait, oh, that makes me able to play twin win and then verticality. And then when you reach a stage where you are unable to play, you will point at the deck. When all players are pointing at the deck. We will each draw a card, but don't look at it yet until everybody's got their card. Then, at the same time, we will all look at our card, and that's important because it's a real-time game. That did, did not help me, help me so I'm pointing, <laughs> drawing again. Mm, again, that did not help me. And one of the things I think is neat about this game is that we have this kind of roller coaster effect of we're all doing stuff at the same time, and then we're all kind of like, hmm, I can't do anything. Hmm. And it's also nice because it gives the person who's behind a chance to catch up a little bit while the other players are waiting for them. None of these cards are helping me. Mm, I can't. I just, yeah. Interesting. I don't, I don't either. All right, one more. Let's see what we have. There we go. Got that. Pedal battle. Lunar invaders. Lunar invaders. Now, I think this is uh, this is a fun game with two, but it's definitely more fun with more players. But I think actually it's better for a, a sample game to kind of see what's going on with, as a two-player game. And I am stuck again. World War Five, Zark City, logo. Nothing. All right. Launch Pad 23, Zork City, Pyramid Shambo, Pharaoh, Homeworlds, Homeworlds, Martian Chess, and I win! Uh, you keep doing that. Well, that was pretty fun, but you know, it's even more fun with three or four. Let's get somebody else in here and play again using the original deck. Okay, that sounds fun. Okay. All right, now let's play again with, with three players. Welcome, Lori. Thank you. Lori has entered the game. And welcome to the table. And Thank everybody you. gets three, uh, seven cards, seven cards as before. This is the original version of Lunacy, which was published just a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. But it's proven to be such a hit that we've already made various flavors of it. Okay. All right, and again, now with three players, we will have three piles instead of four. And if there were four players, we would only have two piles. And with five players, there'd just be one, one pile we're all okay, rushing okay. for. And I have another cat. I have. Oh, the I'm Earth. just going to start. House, yeah. moon. Moon. Uh, you don't have to call it out. No, it's it's just, it's just kind of fun. People people kind of instinctively do it, and it's fun to see what people use as the de descriptors in this version. Now, original version of Lunacy uses art from various different hard. versions of Flux over the years, and some of them are obvious. And and so we have these two, Andy and Kristen, are the friends. Sometimes people call them the hippies, or uh, or the old hippies. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or sometimes they know us as the loonies. Yeah. Um, Can you do anything? Are you pointing? I am pointing at the deck. All right. So am I. Oops. Don't look yet. Don't look. I know. You hold it. All that happens to die hard. It's true. And I can't play. Mm. 
Hmm. Oh, all three of my cards match. That's nice. Now you need to add one that makes it not match so that you won't be able to win. Because <laughs> that's what oh, I did. That didn't work. <laughs> You got trouble right oh. here. Oh, yeah, back down to this. Water. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh. Stymie, you insane for your winning. Stymie, excellent. I love that. And Frankenstein. Oh. So close. I almost lost it. <laughs> Whew. That, of course, is the joy of a real time game. <laughs> joy, depending on who you're talking to. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, uh. Uh, the real-time game was, oh, was one of my that earliest fascinations, and we wouldn't be having this job if I hadn't been into Ice House's real-time nature at the very, very beginning. Wow. Yep. Again, the roller coaster. <laughs> I was down to one card, and now you I'm back up to yep. a full fist. Oh, little furry oh, guy. Oh, furry guy. Alien creature. And energy crystals. Oh, I have the Holy Grail and the ship and ship. the ship. Ship. And the pizza. Oh, I had chocolate at one time, but not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, let's square up these piles here. a little we bit. Have we also have, I like how, because we have these break points, we can also right, have a chance to clean things up when nobody's doing anything. Otherwise, the mess will, me, piles get pretty messy. Spaceship. Oh, no. Nope. Uh, that doesn't help me. It's <laughs> awfully <Suffly> quiet. <laughs> Just thinking. I have a cat. Yes, you do. You have Cats a don't like water. I have, well, uh, oh, water. Mm. <laughs> Flag. Flag. Oh. American car. American car. Well, this one's American car. Oh, right. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I like to give, you know, yes, people like to call out the names, but I have a, a meta of liking to give names to things that are paired logically. Right. Like, um, there's one that's Frankenstein and cookies, and I like to call that Cookie Monster. Right. You know. So this could be cargo and shipment. Mm. Are you guys, guys pointing? I can't here? play. Yeah, well, we're, we're enjoying banter time. <laughs> oh, that did not help me. Uh, me neither. Pizza. Cookies. Cookie yeah. Monster. Um, flag. Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty, Statue of Liberty, Heart. Um, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> ah, none of that helps me. Down to one again. Down to two. Yeah. Uh, nowhere here. Friends. And their cat. <laughs> Car. One thing. It's gotta be Toto there. No, this is Little Cat. Ah, okay. You, you you're can right. tell because right. a little white tuft. Okay. Yeah. She didn't have green eyes like that, and that's that's creepy cat from Cthulhu Flux, um, actually. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, time, time in a way! Oh, and, <laughs> and that is how you play Lunacy. Well I go, I go. Thank you for playing. Thank you for playing. <laughs> it was fun.